channel. Welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new to my channel, welcome. <laughs> Winston's in his playpen and he's like passed out and he's literally snoring. Oh my god, he's the cutest. Um, so, okay, yeah, that uh, caught me off guard. Uh, what's this video going to be about? Oh yeah, so... <laughs> In today's video, I am boondocking currently, and I'm going to be talking about and showcasing some new van life items that I have that I've either purchased or received as gifts in the last couple of weeks. So not necessarily like reviewing everything, but I've had a chance to use my new stuff, so I will be telling you what it is, how it worked out, kind of my overall thoughts, while also giving you life at camp footage and talking about ringing in the new year. So like this video and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Let's get into it. This is my new heating blanket. It is specifically made for cars. It's like supposed to be like a car heating blanket. So it's essentially a throw blanket size and it is 12 volt. I requested this very specific one uh, from my mom for Christmas. So what I like about it and that some don't have is that it does have multiple settings. And when, so I've only used it on low, even though the last couple of nights it's been in the 30s. So I use it on low and it draws about 50 watts but not necessarily concurrently. Like it will draw, it'll heat up and like once it's at temperature, it'll stop drawing 50 watts and it'll draw maybe five to 10 is what I noticed because I tested it before using it. Um, so I've been powering it via the DC plug on my VTOMAN 600 and last night, I ran it for several hours and it used about 70% of my power station. I actually even had to turn it off in the night because I got hot. Um, so this has been massively wonderful for me and Winston. Also the last two days we slept until like 9 or 9.30 because we've been so nice and, and toasty warm. But I do recommend this specific blanket. I will share a link in the description just like I do all of my Amazon products but after testing it for a few nights and it is super soft and cozy again just using it on low for me and Winston it's been wonderful. This is the shelf that my brother made for me for Christmas. It's made out of cedar and spalted maple. Now this is where I want to put it, but it's barely too long for this shelf. So I have this sparkling water cardboard under there for now, because as you can see, it kind of comes off the edges. But what I want to do is get just a thin piece of wood that's about that long, so I can end up connecting it all together. Now, I won't have anything on the shelf while I'm driving. It'll just be used for setting things on it during the day and while I'm camping. So the shelf will be empty while I'm driving, but I want to attach it. So I was taking some measurements and experimenting. That's van life, right? You just gotta kind of work with what you have, but I'm going to either Lowe's or Home Depot tomorrow, and I'm going to look for something that might work. I also need to look for a 13 by two piece of thin wood to put under the shelf as well. So I have that on the list for when I go into town tomorrow. It's shower day and I have two new things to test out. So the Turby Twist, my mom put this in my stocking this year and I'm really excited to try it. I hope that my hair is not too long because my hair is almost down to my butt and it's pretty thick. So we will find out if I can use this instead of like just putting a towel on my head. But we will find out. I'm excited to give it a try after my shower. So I have that. And then I have my new foldable bucket. This is a five-gallon bucket. It was $12 on Amazon. And I really liked my silicone collapsible bucket. It lasted me two years. I decided not to fix it or patch it. I just wanted to try something new. 
uh, not only for myself and because this is so compact, but also to share with you guys if it is a good bucket. So I will show you what that looks like when it's time to set up my shower. All right, here's my new bucket set up. Now this is almost three gallons of water. So I was thinking, I don't know how this thing holds five gallons, but it definitely does. Here's my shower. Um, I will heat up some water on my stove today because it's uh, too cold for it to fully warm up in the sun, but I will report back on how it works out. So I just took my shower and washed my hair, and this is the Turby Twist, and I have to tell you that I am absolutely loving it, and even though my hair is so long, um, it fit. <laughs> I mean, I kind of had to twirl up the end a little bit and put it in the end of the towel, but I like it because it's super lightweight. It's microfiber, so it's very absorbent since I don't carry a, a hairdryer with me on the road. Um, and when I normally twist a towel on top of my head, it's like super high, right? <laughs> so, so this way I have a big range of motion without the towel falling off my head. I'm not hitting the ceiling of my van and then I can do my stuff like my um, skin care without having to worry about like the towel falling off or whatever. So I'm really happy with this Turby twist and the bucket worked out very well. I did learn that um, if I'm going to be using three gallons of water for a shower, which I don't typically do, I use like two to two and a half and that's on days I wash my hair because it requires a lot more water to wash my hair. But I need to heat up more than a kettle of water when it's uh, chilly out or chilly at night at least. So I did learn that, but the bucket uh, was fantastic. Today has been another very super productive day for both Maddie and I. I have all my solar out, showered still playing with my new toys, if you will. <laughs> I have my towels and things drying right now. Bit of a breeze today, but it's super nice. I think high of 70, some clouds have come out. But I am now working on like consolidating my water, filling my fridge. I um, had a bunch of Christmas leftovers that I've been eating, so that's nice. But tomorrow I will go into town, so I'm preparing for that. I put a bunch of cardboard in the fire pit because I plan on getting firewood so we can have a New Year's fire. <laughs> it's gonna be crazy. Just us hanging out. And van is nice and clean. Listening to my end of year recap on Arizona Sports. What are you doing, Bubba? Oh, and also I started using the tarp pole again under my trunk hatch um, to save the shocks that I replaced earlier in the year. I kind of forgot I was doing that, so I, I took the, the tarp pole back out to give it some additional assistance just to take the pressure off of those shocks. So it's pretty obvious, <laughs> I think, if you've been watching me... Um for any amount of time really that I am not a trendy person, right? I'm, I'm all about uh, comfort and practicality and all of those good things. I often scroll through Instagram reels and that's kind of how I find out about the latest trends. Uh, most of which I do not generally participate in, but I guess there's this new like Stanley Cup trend going around and uh, I, I don't really know much about it but my brother's girlfriend uh, she's so sweet and she is very trendy like she's very trendy she's my age and she's like up on all the latest fashions and trends and um, I am not and she lends me a bit of assistance in that department from time to time. So she actually got me my own Stanley Cup for Christmas. <laughs> and what I like about this one is that, oh, it matches my glasses. Um, she knew, she knows my color, of course. And um, this isn't one of the, like those huge ones that people often like joke about on social media. This is actually a very practical 
um, size tumbler and the top twists off and there's a straw in there. And I, so I've been just keeping water in it and I can just sip it. I really like this piece of it. And I don't often drink from stainless steel cups unless I'm using like my Yeti in the morning for coffee because I feel like it could make your water taste weird, but this one does not. So now thanks to Naomi, I am trendy and, um, you know, in with the times and I believe that Stanley cups are, uh, fairly pricey, but, um, I recommend getting yourself one like this size. This is a great size for van life. And I mean, yeah, it's super cute and I like the handle. Perfect for me. I'm loving this. My new solar lights are so pretty. They have lots of different modes. Right now they're just multicolored and they kind of like go in and out a little bit. I don't know. I'm going to mess with it, but they are very, very pretty. Different uh, colors and stuff too. So yeah, those will be for decoration. I just have to kind of further decide what I want to do with them. Here's my Lucy light. As you can see, it's getting dark. So let's see here. Yeah. Yeah, that's super bright. Okay, good. So I had everything charging all day today. Ooh, I'm really excited to mess around with these little ones. These are super pretty. Okay, so I got them stable so they're no longer doing that, like, fading in and out thing. And then I put my Lucy light just on my table. So now you can kind of see how bright it is. And, oh my gosh, it is chilly outside. So <laughs> I'm getting back in the van. Okay, so with all of that, I want to remind everybody of a few things. We are at the end of December, and my second annual YouTube meetup is coming up in January in Quartzsite at Scat and Wash BLM from January 22nd to 24th. So you can join my Facebook group, Adventuring with Amanda, and uh, check out the Facebook event page. Everything is linked in the description. I also have a video about it. So I have all the details posted many places online. So that is coming up. Also, if you didn't see my Ruko drone review, that is up as well. And I have a, I think it's a 30, 30% 30 off or 35% off discount if you are interested in purchasing yourself a drone. And let's see, I think that's it for now. Um, I'm going to be making a video about my upcoming goals and plans for 2024. It's going to be a super fun year. I'm traveling out of Arizona in the coming year, and I'm looking forward to all of that and sharing that with you guys also. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video all the way through. As usual, give this video a thumbs up. I will see you next time.